that's mine. I've got a delicious recipe to share with you guys. Again, it's my big flower muffins. What's the main ingredient for this recipe is cauliflower. What's so great about cauliflower? It's got vitamin C, vitamin K, and vitamin B6 and B1. And it's an essential shop part of protein. And you also get your omega-3 fatty acids in cauliflower. These are super healthy. And again, they are gluten-free, vegan, and refined sugar-free. They're so easy to make and all of the ingredients are probably in your kitchen as well. So let's get started. So to start off with, you need your one head of cauliflower, which makes around three cups. Two tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of coconut flour, two garlic cloves. Now, if you don't have garlic cloves, you can also use minced garlic or even garlic powder. Two organic eggs. Now, if you're vegan, please use flaxseed eggs, which is flax seeds and water combined to create the egg a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and a variation of different toppings. Now I've used pep, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, dried basil, you can use whatever seasoning you have. For this recipe, you need a food processor. So I'm gonna get our one head of cauliflower, and we don't actually need the stalk of the cauliflower, we just need the top part. So we need to cut that off for the whole head of cauliflower. Once that's been cut off, you're gonna just pop, you're gonna pop on the lid for the food processor and process this for a couple of minutes. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can also use a hand grater for this as well. So you know, once that's done, when you get a rice kind of rice kind of consistency with that cauliflower, we're gonna pop in our other ingredients, which is our two tablespoons of coconut flour, our two cloves of garlic. Two eggs, at this point you can add in your vegan eggs. Our almond flour. And some sea salt, so that's a quarter teaspoon popped in there. So we're, gonna just, so we're just gonna pop in our food processor on again for a couple of minutes. We're gonna let this mixture fully combine until you get a really nice doughy consistency. You just need a baking tray and some parchment paper on there. Now mine's non-stick. If you don't have non-stick, please oil the paper up before you put the mixture on there. Otherwise it will stick to the actual parchment paper. So I'm making six balls. The recipe actually allows me to have six muffins. Once done, I'm gonna pop on my delicious toppings on there. What I like to do is pat them on a little bit so the actual toppings stick to the muffin. I like to be extra generous with my toppings because I feel like they give an extra lovely flavor to the muffins. Once done, we're gonna pop on our oven. We need to put this for 155 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna pop this into the oven for around 30 to 35 minutes. Once that's done, we're gonna take that out of the oven and your muffins should be golden brown at this point. Now just put them on a cooling rack before you actually serve them. Once cool, they're ready to serve and enjoy now. I love this recipe because these muffins are a great substitute to bread and they don't leave you feeling bloated. The actual toppings mean that I can't actually taste the cauliflower taste in them at all. They have such a rich flavor and they're a great sandwich filler. I love having with them with a bit of soup or dipping them a bit of hummus or pesto. They have such a fluffy light consistency. Comment down below and let me know if you did like this recipe and also like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you later.